That happened really, really, really slowly. Um, as I was working in commercials, I really got into watching food shows, and I cooked as a as a hobby. You know, when I wasn't having to scrape for work every day because I had a job, um, I spent a lot of time cooking, and I started watching food shows. And this is late '80s now at this point that I'm I'm watching them, and I was like, man, oh, these things are boring. These, oh. These are, this is some of the most boring TV there is, and I'm not learning anything. It's like, okay, another half hour's gone, and I've got a couple of recipes. I don't know why any of it works. I don't know, I'm not any better than I was. I just have these recipes now. And um, I started getting the idea, one day I was sitting in my office, I'd moved back to, um, I'd moved back to Atlanta uh, because I, I had a, a relative who was very ill, and I kind of wanted to be nearby. And um, I was sitting in my office one day, this is probably about 19, now it's 1993 or 1994, I guess. No, 93. And I, I wrote down on a pad of paper, um, cooking show, and then underneath that I wrote, uh, Julia Child, Mr. Wizard, Monty Python. And um, I had that piece of paper up until a couple of years ago, and I've, I've lost it now. But that was, the, that was the, the seed that got planted that became Good Eats eventually. What happened is at the time, um, I, I was at a production company now in, in Atlanta, and um, there was a producer there that I worked with from time to time who I was becoming friendly with, the daughter of the owner of the company. And um, uh, I started talking to her about it. And um, long story short, we ended up married. Um, and I still wouldn't shut up about the idea. And she finally said, you know what? Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? But here's the thing. Nobody's going to let you because you don't know enough. So she said, I'll make a deal with you. You apply to the top three culinary schools in the country, and if you get into one, I will work and put you through school, but we go together. We're not, we're not going to separate physically to do it. We'll pack up, and we'll move, and I'll put you through school. And that's what happened. Her name's Deanna Brown, oddly enough, uh, president of the company, she who must be obeyed. I'm scared of her um, to some degree. Uh, but she did. She put me through school, and uh, she actually went to work in the marketing department of the culinary school, New England Culinary Institute in Montpelier, Vermont. Um, so we moved, moved up and became Yankees, so to speak. And, um, and I went to school for two years, got my degree, and uh, ended up uh, doing a, you have to do, this school you do a series of internships, and I'd done one up there, and I ended up, for some bizarre reason, none of us quite understand, I ended up doing another internship in uh, Durham, North Carolina, and none of us figured out why this happened, but it did, and so we ended up living in Durham, North Carolina, and, and I remember the day she turned to me and she said, you know, um, we, we've learned how to get by on about $22,000 a year, and it's, it's okay, but um, I think it's about time you start writing those scripts now. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I think you're, you're about right. And so I did. I started writing the pilot, the pilot episodes for Good Eats.